If you want to be able to zoom in on a portion of your screen for the purposes of doing screen demos and the like, then uh, there is a way that you can do this with some built-in functionality in Mac OS. And that is what I'll be telling you about in this video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, and uh, you all know if you are a regular viewer what a fan of ProMouse I am. <laughs> it's something that I use all the time on my channel uh, to basically highlight areas of the screen and to zoom in and things like that and to spotlight. But I know that not everybody is a fan. <laughs> not everybody seems to have quite the results I have with that app because it's worked flawlessly for me, but sadly not for everybody. So uh, today I want to tell you about another option that you have uh, that does actually still work with ProMouse as well. So you can have the best of both worlds. <laughs> but that is an accessibility feature that is built into Mac OS that allows you to zoom in on a part of the screen and so if you use this when you're doing screen demos doing screen sharing and things like that and uh, in demo mode in Ecamm Live uh, then it can sort of help you uh, to get your point across and show just the parts of the screen that you need people to see. Now I've got to say first of all thank you very much to Phil Binks because uh, it was him that told me about this on my last uh, live stream actually as it happens uh, and then I came straight off that live stream and went on to start watching one of Doc Rocks and he was talking about the exact same thing so uh, Phil got there first though uh, so I'll leave a link to Phil's channel which is uh, helpful Phil uh, I'll leave a link to that up in the top corner that's got loads of uh, great tutorials and stuff like that and if you like the sort of stuff that I'm covering on here with Ecamm Live tutorials and so on then uh, definitely go and give him a watch as well because there's lots of great stuff on there so let's get into exactly how it works, shall we? Uh, the, we are in the, uh, in fact, no, we're not. We've gone straight. I've skipped ahead. Sorry about that. <laughs> if you open up system preferences on the Mac, uh, then you do have this uh, accessibility uh, tab here. So this one. So you want to click on the accessibility. Uh, and then in here, there's lots of different accessibility features uh, th that you can uh, have a browse through because there are some more of them that uh, they're obviously intended for people who uh, have accessibility issues with uh, the interface and so on. But some of these have other uses. In fact, that's exactly what we're doing with this one, which is this zoom tool. So I'm going to click on to zoom, uh, as in zooming, making it bigger, as opposed to the Zoom communications app, <laughs> as if that wasn't obvious. Uh, so here you've got uh, a few keyboard shortcuts. Uh, first of all, let me just actually demo it, shall I, just to show you what we're talking about before we get into how to set it all up. Uh, and I'm going to come into my demo mode. And as you can see, I've got a bit of a big screen here. It's a 4K screen. And so I'm guessing that it's probably hard to see some of this writing over here in, this, uh, in these little windows and things like that. So when I'm doing screen demos, Normally what I would do is I would actually take my uh, 4K display and I would scale it down to 1080p uh, so that it's a little bit more readable when I'm sharing the full screen like this. But actually now what I can do is I can simply just zoom in on a particular area of the screen. So let's say I want to just zoom in on just this main window and the Ecamm controls. And now hopefully you can see these a little bit better. And I can still use my Pro Mouse, by the way. I can still use the zoom feature on that on top of it. Uh, and I can also use my little spotlight as well. So that is basically what this zoom tool allows you to do. Uh, and so let's have a look now at exactly how you set it up and these settings. So um, first of all, there is a keyboard shortcut that you can assign to this, uh, or there is one pre-assigned, I should say, uh, to actually toggle the zoom on and off. Let's just have a look at what that looks like. This is uh, Command Option 8. So if I come back into my demo mode and I press Command Option and 8, you'll see that it just sort of zooms in a little bit. There we go. <laughs> and then I can press Command Option and the... Uh, plus and minus to uh, basically zoom in and out further. So that is how you do it manually uh, by uh, pressing the keys. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to come in here and you can also have this gesture, use a scroll gesture with a modifier key. So basically, if you've got a, a scroll wheel on your mouse uh, or if you're using a trackpad, then you can come to here and you can change the, uh, uh, the uh, modifier key. So I've got it as control. Uh, so all I'm doing now is uh, I just hold down my control key and then turn my, uh, my little scroll wheel like that. Uh, now, I should say the default behavior of this is that when you scroll in, the pointer stays, um, uh, it, it scrolls into where your pointer is on the screen. Uh, and then obviously now we're cropped into the center. So this might not be the place that we want. So you can move the mouse over to the edge. And when you move over to the mouse over to the edge, then it will sort of move the edge of the, uh, the viewing area, if you like, with you. So I'm moving over to the side here. And then if I move down to the bottom, it will get that edge there. 
So uh, that is uh, one way to do it. But personally, uh, I find that if I uh, go up into the top corner uh, and then scroll with the mouse right in that top corner, then it's going to just keep that nicely uh, centered or not centered. It's going to keep that top corner <laughs> in the top corner. And I'm just zooming in on that portion of the screen, which actually for the sorts of demos that I do works out well for me because I tend to just have things positioned and those positions on the screen and so I can just zoom in on the particular area that I want to show uh, and so that just zooms in quite nicely by having the mouse in one of the uh, the corners. Uh, there is some uh, ways that you can uh, do this in a little bit of a different way that I'll come on to in a moment when we look at some of the advanced features that it's got um, but also I should mention the zoom style so here there are uh, three zoom styles we've just had a look at the full screen one which is the default um, but you can also have it in split screen I don't think that this is going to be particularly useful for this use case that we're talking about here I'll just show it to you anyway but if we toggle that one on and then I zoom in you can see what's happening we've got the regular size screen at the bottom and then the sort of zoomed view is up at the uh, up at the top but it's uh, yeah not really <laughs> well suited to um, to screen sharing I don't think in terms of you know doing demos and things like that uh, one that is perhaps useful is the picture in picture so when I've got that one toggled and I zoom in you can see how it's basically got this little uh, window uh, and it's just acting like I suppose like a sort of square magnifying glass and I can still use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out on an area and it is just sort of highlighting it on the screen so that one could be a useful uh, one to use. Personally, I'm going to stick with the full screen because like I say, I am still using this in conjunction with my beloved Pro Mouse that a lot of people don't seem to love quite as much as I do. <laughs> uh, so then I'm going to come over to uh, the uh, this one here, Choose Display. Now, you may well think um, that uh, you can see here that this is basically my monitor is this one at the bottom. Uh, and then let me come out of demo mode. Uh, my monitor is the one at the bottom uh, and then at the top is my teleprompter monitor uh, so I'm not going to uh, uh, adjust these at the moment but what if you've got one that's set to display to use for zoom you might um, uh, you might be forgiven for thinking <laughs> I'm forgiving myself because this is what I thought <laughs> you might be forgiven for thinking that if you select one of these the zoom will only affect that because actually what is happening is when you're zooming one screen if you zoom out it, you will actually see it go across all of the other screens as well so uh, it would have been nice if I could just have one screen that zooms uh, so that's what I actually thought that this does but actually if you have uh, one of these displays selected what that does is it shows the output of the zoom on that other display so that's not at all what we're looking to try and achieve here um, so you do probably for this use case want to uh, leave that display as zooming for all it's almost uh, yeah not worth even going in there but I just thought I'd explain what that is <laughs> uh, so then you've also got uh, this option here uh, enable hover text now I'm going to toggle that one off but I've got it on just to show you what that is uh, so let's come into uh, demo mode I've just realized I've moved this out of the way haven't I that's no use <laughs> there we go uh, this one here enable hover text so just holding down the option key will do this uh, and so let me just demo what this is if you've got this activated and you hold down the option key and you hover over a piece of text then it basically just uh, makes that larger on the screen so you can read it so if I'm on some great website like the Ecamm Live website uh, and then I hover over some text and then I just press the option key it will just make it larger so obviously this is an accessibility feature for people who find it hard to read and so it just makes the text larger on the screen um, so next I'm going to go into the advanced section here uh, so if I click on that we've basically got two tabs at the top we've got appearance and controls uh, so appearance there's a few different ways that you can have the uh, the zoom window if you like moving around or the zoom area moving around uh, initially it's set to this only when the pointer reaches an edge so that's how I had it so that when I zoom in it will basically zoom in on whatever area I zoom into so if I move the mouse over this corner it will zoom down here uh, but then the actual window will only change when I move the mouse to the edge well there is this other option uh, to move continuously with pointer now if I touch that one uh, or switch that one on rather you can see that now as I move the pointer around it's moving all over the screen this um, is not necessarily going to be the best <laughs> way to do things if you are going to actually be physically demonstrating you know steps that people are taking but if you do want it where you just literally want to be able to zoom in to highlight an area of the screen and then you're going to come straight back out of it then that might be actually the way to go because it's easier to sort of position the thing on screen so like here if I wanted to just show this window uh, and then maybe go across and show this one then having it sort of following the mouse round would be uh, a good way to go but if you're going to be doing sort of tutorial demo 
demo style things where you've got to show this, you know, lots of different steps, then yeah, it might make people a little bit dizzy. There is a similar option, which is this one. In fact, let me just use this while we've got it here. <laughs> uh, so if I click this one, so the pointer is at or near the center of the screen. It is very similar actually, um, but there is just a little bit more sort of movement and the, it doesn't move quite as uh, as much, I don't think, as the, uh, the one at the top. You can see there's some places where if you're near the center of the screen, then it's not sort of bouncing all over the place. So that's just moving sort of from side to side, isn't it? Whereas if I come to this one, then it's just basically following the, the cursor around entirely. Um, so you've got a couple of other options here. So for, for I'll leave this one at the moment as it is. So only when the pointer reaches the end of the screen, that's gonna suit the style of things that I'm doing, which is like I say, just zooming in on a specific part of the screen and then doing my demo as normally. Uh, so the other options you've got here are uh, restore zoom factor on startup, which would make sense just to uh, have everything reset. Uh, and then these other ones are not necessarily related to what we're talking about here. Uh, smooth images. So that's just obviously if you're zooming in on an image, it doesn't become too pixelated and you don't get too much uh, sort of anti-aliasing along the edges. Uh, then uh, flash screen when notification banner appears outside the zoom view. So this is specifically like if you've got, uh, if you're zoomed in on a part of the screen and then you get a notification somewhere else on the screen, this accessibility feature gives you a sort of flash to let you know that that's happened. But for giving screen demos, I'm guessing you probably don't want to be bugged by notifications anyway. So that one can just stay off. Uh, and follow keyboard focus just means it's going to follow wherever you are, whatever you are doing with the keyboard. But again, I'm going to leave that one off for now. Uh, and then in the controls, there are a few extra controls in here. Uh, so you can have it so that you can uh, activate some or all of these. Uh, and basically here we've got one to temporarily toggle the zoom. So if you don't want to actually activate it in it, zoom in and stay zoomed in, you just want to quickly activate it. Uh, you can hold down this key if you've got this one selected uh, and that will just sort of activate the zoom for as long as you've got these keys held down. Uh, you've also got one to temporarily detach the zoom window from the pointer. So the zoom window will, uh, the pointer will stay where it is on the screen, um, but your, uh, you can move the screen around. So it's, it's, uh, it's actually a little bit the opposite way than I would have liked it, to be honest, because what I would have liked to have been able to do is uh, zoom in. Uh, and then when I hold down that key, option and uh, command, uh, you can see that basically now I've got a uh, little, it's leaving the pointer where it is. That's that little pro mouse circle. But now I can move the, uh, the screen around. Uh, ideally, I would have liked it the opposite way so that I could use that sort of follow the screen with the pointer. Uh, and then when I detach it, I can move the mouse around, but the screen stays where it is. But anyway, that's uh, that's just my <laughs> my personal preference. That isn't what this thing is intended for. So uh, I'm not going to complain about it. <laughs> uh, there's also I showed you the difference between the full screen and the picture in picture. So that was the one where it was like a little sort of square magnifying glass or rectangular magnifying glass. Uh, well, here, if you want to be able to switch between the two kinds of magnification, you can uh, activate this one uh, and so that will uh, that will toggle between full screen and picture in picture uh, so you can just toggle between those two uh, and then also you've got one here to adjust the uh, the actual zoom window uh, by a keyboard shortcut as well uh, and these other ones are related to the maximum zoom size, the magnification, and you can set limits and things like that as well. But uh, for now, that is uh, pretty much all that we're going to set for it. Uh, and I've got that enable hover text off because that might conflict with some other stuff. I don't really use that. But now we are basically good to go. And so if I come back into my demo mode, uh, this is pretty much solved uh, my, uh, <laughs> my large monitor problem. And I probably won't be changing the resolution of my monitor like I always used to be changing it in and out uh, when I was doing demos of stuff that I knew were going to contain a lot of detail. So uh, thanks once again to Phil Binks for uh, putting me onto that. Uh, I know lots of other people have been using it as well, but I'm a bit late to the party with it. So I hope it helps uh, some of you as well. I'll definitely come out of demo mode, shall I? There we go. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a really great way to uh, to highlight areas of the screen. And like I say, it will work with your um, anything you've got on the screen. So it will work with Pro Mouse, Mouse Pose, or any of these other sort of mouse pointer applications as well. If you found this useful, then uh, don't forget to go and like it, but also head over to Phil's channel and go and uh, check out some of the other great stuff that he's got on there. So uh, for now, I'll leave a link to some other uh, Ecamm Live stuff over on the uh, right hand side uh, and uh, YouTube will pick a personally picked video just for you up in the top right. So until the next one, have a great day.